Hey guys, how you doing? This is Sam here for Dunk.com and today we'll be learning how to create the Google Docs icon using Sketch. This is going to be a really exciting project because we will be learning the basics of Sketch and a few basic principles of design. We'll be deconstructing this simple icon and we'll learn how to use the vector editing options available inside Sketch. So let's take a quick look at what we have here to work with. We have a rectangular background, blue in color. It looks like a paper. And then we have four white lines in the middle that we can also recreate using rectangles. On the top right hand side, we have a paper fold and that's a triangle. We can also create that. And then we have a drop shadow, which is just a duplicate of the triangle above. Really, the only challenge with this project is going to be figuring out a way to recreate this top right hand side effect. We need to remove the top right hand and um, give it a realistic paperfall effect. Before we tackle the big issues, let's knock out the basic ones. Let's create a rectangle. We can go to insert, shape, and then rectangle. And you want to trace around the background and just drag and drop to the right. It's that easy. All the stock standard shapes that come with Sketch will have a border around them by default. You can turn that off in the inspector panel on the right hand side, just like so. Next thing, let's go ahead and create the lines in the middle. We can go to insert, shape, rectangle, or we can just press the R key on our keyboard and that will do just fine. Just roughly about the same size, turn the border off. Instead of creating a new object and making sure that it's the same width and the same height and it has the same location, we can just go ahead and copy and paste. You can Command C on your keyboard and Command V. And we can just go ahead and drag this down. You can use the arrow keys to make sure that it aligns beautifully. So I'm just going to do the same thing again. Just Command C and Command V. Command C and Command V. Commit that to memory. You'll be doing a lot of this. Let's go ahead and make sure that all our lines are aligned perfectly to the left. So select all the four lines. Go up to the alignment menu, right on the top right hand side, and align left. Perfect. We have a slight challenge with the last item. It's slightly smaller than the first three, but that's not an issue. We can just grab the middle handle on the right hand side and drag it in until it's about the same size. Then we can move it up, make sure that it has the same seven pixel spacing between all of them. Let's do a bit of housekeeping. Things are getting a little out of hand here. I'm gonna select the background layer here. In the layers panel on the left hand side, call it background. I'm gonna create the, I'm gonna select the four lines that we have and right click and group selection. I'm going to call this lines. Now you may not see the value of doing that for a small project, but trust me, when you are doing bigger projects, you will have upwards of hundreds of layers and elements in the page. You will thank me for this one day. Nicely organized. Let's keep going. Next, we need to create our rectangle. We're going to go to insert, shape, and triangle. I've done this before, so I know the perfect size is 24 by 24 pixels. I want to turn the border off and also give it a different color, just so we can distinguish between the triangle and the rectangle behind it. As always, I'm going to go to the layers panel on the left hand side 
double click on the triangle and rename it to fold. This is going to be our paper fold. Here's a cool part. Make sure the fold is selected and then press enter on your keyboard. This will take you to the vector editing options in Sketch. You can grab that top point and just drag it all the way to the left until it snaps to pixel when it's in line and parallel to the point on the bottom left hand side. Beautiful. Once you're done, press enter. After you've done this, make sure that your width and height are still the same because it is possible to move the vector point slightly higher or lower as you are dragging it. Very important to make sure that you maintain that size. I'm going to zoom in a little more here. We need a bit more precision. I'm going to select the background layer in the layer section on the left hand side. I'm going to press enter. We have one vector point up here on the top right hand side and the curve mode is set to straight. I'm going to go ahead and create another vector point on the right hand side right next to the bottom right hand side of our fold layer. And that looks about right. This is very important. Make sure you also set the curve mode to straight. And this makes sure no matter where either one of these two points move, there will be a straight line between them. Now we can reselect the top right hand vector point and drag it to the left. And you can see that by doing that, we've gotten rid of the top right hand of our rectangle. And now it does actually look like a paper fold. Well done. We're gonna select the fold layer and Command D. It's almost like copying and pasting, only better because it's designed for lazy people like me, right? Right. I'm going to call this drop shadow. I'm going to move it lower, just underneath the fold layer. And we can go ahead and flip it horizontally and vertically. And now we can go make our design look pretty. I'm going to select the background and change the fill color using the color picker and change it to blue. In the lines group, I'm going to expand that, grab all the rectangles and change the fill color to white. And I'm going to do the same thing for our paper fold and for our drop shadow. One last thing before we're done. Select the lines group and select the backgrounds layer. And you want to make sure that everything is perfectly centered. So go ahead and center it horizontally and vertically. And it looks like we've already done that. Well done. You just created your first design in Sketch and this is really exciting. This may look like a simple project, but this is really paving the way for all that you can do using Sketch. And here is a shameless plug for our website, Dunk. Here's a little design that I created beforehand and I uploaded it to the website. Took, a bit, took about three seconds to generate this sexy looking mock-up. And you can see how it has a beautiful glare on top and it has a very subtle blur that just enhances the realism of the image. All our mockups are shot in house, are free to use, and high resolution. So jump on a website and check it out. If you end up generating something that looks absolutely badass, I want to hear about it. So hit me up on Twitter at Sam Matru. And until then, make sure you dunk it. <laughs>